Hello you guys, it's Happy Panda Guy here and welcome back to another Robots video. So today we're playing a simulator which is called Insurance Scam Simulator. And today is Valentine's Day so there is a Valentine's event uh, which says give a rose to another player to get the rose item which grows more powerful as more people are near you. So this game is all about, of what it says in, in the description when I've already been playing this, um, for about about 40 minutes before uh, recording uh, just like different times so this game explains collect insurance policies from around the world return them to your hospital to upgrade tycoon style or fake your death to upgrade yourself simulator style so it's like a 2-1 simulator right there the bigger the death the fatter the payout no other simulator is as close to real life as this one so you got um so in this game you've got um you need to collect some papers but you can also gain cash there's two different types of cash here um unfortunately i can't move the um the players uh board here because there's no button here so it's kind of a bit annoying that it's blocking the way so you've got the piggy bank and the folder so there's two different sorts of credits. Uh, the piggy money you you get from the um, committing suicide, so killing yourself by getting run over by cars. And the folders are actually picking up papers cr across the road over to these buildings. There's some papers lounging around and you pick them up. And then you just walk all the way back here. Just be careful, you know, when you cross over, don't get hit by a car. And also there's a dog in the back, so... Uh, you have to be really careful with the dog because um, because you know the dog will bite and you will lose all your um, s um, I mean what you just picked up from your um, from your case where I'm holding and also this game brings some realism as when you jump off buildings you actually die so it actually brings realism when you jump off high like grounds okay so let's just get started here and for the people that are only here for the codes, I am now doing a code video right here, right now. So I came across two, uh, nine codes, it's, I know it's a list, but um, I'm not sure if these would work, but we're all gonna fit in today. So the first one is pretty close. I don't know all of their um, prizes behind them, but it doesn't really matter. At least we're able to um, f find it out later. So pretty close code accepted I don't know what that was but at least that code is accepted so I will find out later visit 50k no such code okay so that was probably a time limit one flamingo plate I don't know if it oh I think it doesn't really matter about um, big cases or anything well I'm just gonna do it anyways okay flamingo played code accepted yes oh I got both credits awesome um roll the dice ah okay so this is like a fruit machine or something um okay <laughs> okay I've never seen that before uh, so many followers is the next one. So many followers. Code accepted, and I got more credits. Unfortunately, you probably couldn't see because this, there's this border here. Um, I mean, the, I mean, I mean the on the people in the server border here. Unfortunately, I can't actually exit this off. Like even when I try to, um, it won't. It won't let me so that kind of sucks but at least i'll still be able to see for myself and i hope you can see as well when you can uh try this uh these codes for yourself you might see the difference so the next one is half a mil as a million half a million okay another one 
Ah, okay. Oh yeah, I didn't notice on the side it actually gives you one of those credits. Okay, so it's not like a it's not like you're playing the fruit machine or anything like that. Well it looks like it is, but it's not. Okay. Um next one is easy mode. Code accepted. Uh it's gave me something here. And tweet tweet. That sounds like a choice of post to me. Um, gonna give that a capital. Code accepted. Awesome. And the last one is not so blinding light. Not so blinding light. Code accepted. Awesome. Okay. So we've got only one that didn't work. I think that was the the, the visit 50k one or or the pretty close one, I can't remember. But out of all these codes, it has been a success. So now, let's begin the gameplay. And thank you for the people who only came for the codes. I, I would like to help uh, searching through codes. There's probably more other ones out there, but these are the ones I only found around the um, internet. So, okay, so let's just get started. All right, let's take this, take this off. So let's get some upgrades. There's some invisible chairs here, which is quite random. Um, all right, so here's my hospital here. Oh yeah, yeah, this is my hospital here. It look, it's definitely doesn't look like a hospital yet. I mean, I, all I got is the doors and just an office here, but we're going to hire a worker and we hopefully will add some like more walls and furniture on here as much as we can as much as we fit in so let's get a receptionist um oh i can choose what okay ah okay who should i choose um um yeah receptionist that's what i want i need a receptionist <laughs> cost yep Oh, I forgot to mention, this game involves a zombie invasion, so um, I'm not exactly sure how this game works, but obviously you're meant to survive, but yeah, there's like an unusual event that happens onto this game. Okay, I need to X this off, um, alright, that's um, outside walls, okay, um, hallways, Room seating, internal doors. Um, you require the toilets to hire the cleaner. Okay. Um, I'll get some more walls, and that seems to be like it, and a bit more f uh, furniture. Okay, so. Okay, so this is what it looks like now, uh, away from what it, what it looks like before. So we've got all the room setters out, even though there's no roof, but at least we've got the rooms prepared and there's no furniture in them. So we have to continue just keep saving along and playing a bit more until we unlock everything. So I think since we've got the worker here, um, I don't know if I can just like walk back or anything like that. Like since I've got like someone there, I think that'll be a less work for me because when you collect all your papers uh, from over there, oh. I didn't see that. It's a, it's a huge glow. Um, like, I, I don't really know. I think I'll find out for myself. I have to be very careful here to cross over. There we go. So we've got some papers there. Okay, that sounds like... Oh. Okay, it's gone now. Um, it just looks like maybe like a UFO or something. I don't even know what that was. It looks like um, a UFO is just coming along, but it's over now. <laughs> okay, so we're at the back here, and they usually drop out some time-limited kind of boosts here. So you've got like the magnet, and you can run more faster. Oh, and there's the dog right there. You have to stay away from that dog. Or the dog will attack you and you will lose everything. I mean, you're not going to lose what you have on your screen, but you're just going to lose what, how much credit you have in your uh, suitcase. Okay. 
So we've got some wallpapers here with my special magnet, which I don't have anymore because it's gone. And then we need to go back down. There you go, okay. So, like, the pavers just chase after you when you walk near them. You got the gas station. And... We've got that building there, but it's actually pretty high, I got to say. So, um... So, it could take a lot of time. But we're just going to take all of these, even though I've, I can fit a maximum of 250 because I've been upgrading. But I know it's not really a lot compared to 19 to 250. But it is a decent um, amount to just save because you can't always guarantee you're going to collect like the maximum up to 250. Because who knows what could happen. Like you can randomly just get attacked by someone and you have to start from scratch over again. Which, you, you know, nobody wants that to happen. Okay, so let's go back to my unfinished hospital right here. Um, I also noticed that, um, like, my sign is spelled hospital wrong. I'm maybe thinking if it might be a game area, like, a, what? I mean, a game error, or, um, or maybe it was just on purposely just, you know, being spelt that way or something like that. Like, I don't really know. <laughs> Okay, so I've got over 6,000 credits in the piggy bank, and, it's, and it is useful for upgrades um, for yourself, so you can increase your stack, you can hire lawyers, but I think hiring lawyers are re required to be like rebirths, so like each lawyer gives you a permanent 1% income boost, or upgrades reset to zero, so this is like a uh, rebirth right there. Um, and the piggy cash is only to be bought with, um, you know, beat, like speed boosts and this and that. So you make your character run more faster. Uh, you can make yourself lighter for bigger bounces and also suitcase stacking. So what about these ones on the corner? Um, if I get off the corner. Okay, so I think these ones on the side of the screen you don't pay for. So, um... So you just have to unlock them. So the piggy cash is only for like your own self upgrades. Okay, so there seems to be a zombie apocalypse now. Um, okay, there are the zombies over there. I haven't actually been killed by a zombie before or anything like that. So should I give it a go? I mean, you can die and you can still get cash because you can also kill yourself on here. So, all right, I'll kill myself and let the zombies eat me. If. Yeah. So this is how the game works. You, you can actually kill yourself to get... Um, more money as well that wasn't very dramatic that was just like a push but um, but we can do better especially when you're on the roads um, well you got this bubble with you and to cancel the bubble you have to walk over this line and that's when you can just start the chance so even when you have that bubble with you um, it, you don't have to worry about being run over because you are immune to getting hit by the car because you will just click through it so I'm just gonna stand in front let this lorry hit me. Uh. Uh. Usually the game would uh, give you credits when you reach over like a hundred or something like that. They will give you like maybe like 50 like 50 percent of it so it would be like 50 coins. Okay, so with the piggy money, <laughs> since I got loads of um, piggy piggy money, um, these ones are, I don't know actually, I think these are maybe for challenges. So the upgrades is something that's useful towards that money. So you can, I can jump even higher, I can increase my stack, uh, my studs uh, to pull, um, to pull papers towards me. 
Um, running speed, I definitely want to have running speed because I need a lot of that actually. Because I, I, I mean, I, I know it requires a lot of patience, but it would be great if I just go fast on my feet or across the road in this and that because I think that would be great. Uh, this one's the uh, make yourself slippery for longer slides. Uh, make yourself lighter for bigger bounces. Impacts are bouncier. Uh, jump even higher. Um, I, I wouldn't think it's really necessary to increase um, my stack of my suitcase at the moment because my stack is actually pretty high as it is and I don't really know exactly how um, I can highly upgrade but I mean it could be just something I haven't learned through before because I'm still slightly new to the game like I don't know exactly 100% of this game I only know like 60% of the game personally so we're just going to keep buying alone okay there we go just stuck to 19 now that's I know I can't buy anything else now okay so that seems to be everything. Um, I think we've pretty much covered everything. I know it's probably not a lot, but I mean, it is pretty a lot as it is, but it sometimes may not look like it is. But we fitted in, um, you know, the codes in and the more upgrades we added into the hospital. And we went over the road and we collect some papers and we had a look around what's exactly going on over there such as the dogs and then we got the zombie and then you have like a UFO there it looked like and um, yeah so I'll be linking this game in the description down below if you want to check this game out for yourself I think you would like this this is like a two-in-one um, simulator as it involves uh, like it's like this game where you play yourself as a ragdoll, like break many bones or something like that. And um, like Happy Wheels, for instance. And um, and also, it's like a two-in-one tycoon with that. And also with, um, the, you know, building a place up. So it's a tycoon and a, and a Happy Wheels game at the same time, like a ragdoll game. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you think of this video. You can leave any requests in the comments of what games you play next. It's in Roblox or at some Roblox. And if you're banned into the channel, please be sure to subscribe. And while you subscribe, please some post notifications, which is the bell right next to the subscribe button. So that way you don't miss a new video from me whenever I upload. So like I said, thank you for watching and have a good day.